Hi, I'm Ann Schmidt, and typically I make chemistry videos or laboratory videos, but I decided after teaching my summer chemistry course 100% online using primarily Schoology and a couple other external things like Edpuzzle that it was time for me to make some Schoology videos to help any teacher out there that might need help being efficient and effective in using Schoology in a hybrid or an on online learning environment. So this video is about the grade setup, but in the description below, I have a Google presentation linked that has all the videos I've made and the ones I plan to make. In addition, I have this playlist on my YouTube channel. All right, so let's get started. Grade setup. You must have at least one category picked, otherwise you can't use the features that Schoology has given you to grade the assignment and give all kinds of different feedback, which is part of this, uh, this setup of videos about the grades. So there's audio, video, written, all kinds of feedback that you can give to students. All right, so let's get started first on just getting that grade set up uh, created. So go into your Schoology course. I just called mine Schoology 101 if this is the first video you've seen. Grade setup, you click on this button that says add. And at my school, we have academic. And our academic has to be 90%. But I'm going to do, you know, change it to percents. And I'm not going to drop any lowest assignment, but I'm going to put this actually as 80 because I'm going to have my final be 10%. So I'm going to hit create or click the create button. Then I'm going to add another category and I'm going to call this one non-academic and again percent. And maybe I do want to drop maybe two assignments and um, put a weight at 10%. The last thing I can do is I can have a final or some kind of final project. I'm just going to put final and again percent and of course I'm not going to drop that and then I'm going to use that as a 10% category. So there you can see that I have 100% um, you know, accounted for. I'm going to leave it as numeric and if you wanted to at some point you could even round the period or final grades to just um, the, it says the nearest percent. I'm not going to click that, but I could see using that at the very end of the class if you wanted to. Here you can change it from numeric to letter, uh, and then down here you can have other kinds of choices. I'm going to hit save just to keep this video as short as possible and show you the assignment that I created in a separate video and how I can now pick a category. And then once that assignment has been turned in, again, a separate video, I will show you how you could grade that assignment and offer feedback. So I'm going to go back here and edit this. And I have it as 10 points. And right now it's ungraded, which means I wouldn't be able to use the school G's uh, feedback. So I'm going to put that this is a non-academic and then just uh, hit save. And then now or click on the save. And then now if I go back and again, I don't have any assignments submitted. I actually have to do that. This is my son that I added to this fake course. So once that assignment is submitted, then I can show you how that would look if we were to grade it. All right, so that's it. You do want to have at least one of the categories set up. Even if you don't use Schoology for the grade book, maybe you have a separate grading program like I have PowerSchool. I used in Summer Chem, though, the grade book in Schoology and is pretty much identical to all the other grade books out there. In fact, I like the Schoology grade book and I wish we were using it. But currently right now we do use PowerSchool. So even if you don't use the grade book, you must set up that grade uh, setup so that at least you can have those categories and you can just make one if you really want to. All right, teachers, good luck. And again, check out the description, the other Google pres the Google presentation and the other videos that I've made and the vi videos that I plan to make. All right, see you later, teachers.